Okay, so we're back, and um, I've just um, began uploading uh, the first part to YouTube, and um, <coughs> it's going to take a while, but I've got three parts um, ready to go, plus the one I just finished up recording, that's just part four. This will be part five, of course, and um, this will be taking us to level ten, and probably um, take a, a little hiatus for the next, uh, I don't know, 24, 48 hours or so. Um, put, kind of put my name out there in a way in my leveling video guys and all that. So, um, so well, nah, I've never done that before. Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, always human is to error. So we're returning on a quest we got from uh, Sinjin Valley, and we're going to pick up this quest here. And then... Um, I'm going to change that. Do, 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 do. System, that's what I forgot to add, include in that. I always like to set this tab up this way. Um, pick up from bad to worse, you know, as you can see, very easy quest. You kill certain dudes. You kill six and six. You kill the armor, or marines, shall I say, and the archers. And then you kill the guy in the very top of the castle. Then you go over here and pick this quest up. This is the. Um, uh, collecting of the six treasures, get some good silver there and all that. And you go towards, you go over here towards this castle. There's this castle here, and you walk down this row, and that's where you collect your treasures, and you kill the guys, and you go upstairs and kill the other guy. And here's a little trick. Um, now, granted, we're level one guild, and we don't have the uh, guild reward perk where we have a 15 minute cooldown. We have a 30 minute cooldown. But what I do normally when I have that ability is I kill these guys, collect the stuff, and then I hearth back to Razor Heel, turn the quest in, and pick up the other quest. Because by then, your 15 minutes of your cooldown on your Hearthstone has been set. Um, I still do it anyway on a 30 minute cooldown. Because where I go next before I go to Northern Barrens, um, it takes a good 30 minutes to do that quest. Well, oh, it doesn't take that long, but it, it, you know, I like to make sure it resets with uh, with time. And by the time I get done with the quest over here, and I'm over the Northern Barrens, it probably is close to resetting. So that's that um, idea that I do. And this is where we kill the guys, and they're level six, so we're gonna get like 20 something points for it. XP wise, and we just kill them and let my pets do their job. And then we just go over and collect the loot. And there's only one done yet, uh, 38 actually. So we took some damage there. Yep, and you're dead. And you pick some good loot up. And we're over here. I don't know if this is going to give us level 10 or not. Uh, we'll see. It's it's really kind of irrelevant whether or not this does give us level 10 because um, I do know some easier quests like this one. And you're dead. I'll just go over and collect the loot because you're going to die. Bye bye. Um, there's two. Now, on multi boxing, um, it takes a little time to do these collection quests, even though this specific, specific quest, the, the, the uh, spawn rate on these treasures to collect is pretty fast, and they're pretty much in the same locale, location. And we'll just dot him up, and he's going to stun me for a bit, but. The Grim Reaper is knocking on his door like it just did. And there's one in here. That's three. Oh, I didn't, didn't know if I got that loot or not. Um, and then you go over here and kill these guys. And then a little seven. That's not a problem. And you immolate him. He's going to throw probably an arrow at my character. And he's dead. Emulate dots. And anyway, while that's being dead, I'll go over here and loot the body. 
So four of six, and um, we got three of six in the other set we have to kill, and uh, we've got three treasures. Uh, usually. Yeah, when I, when I actually did this with my druid, I actually did walk around this area and uh, investigate the little nooks and crannies because I thought they were going to be all out in the open. And they are and they're not. Some are out in the open, some are actually in this little shed. Voila, easy, one more treasure. And then you go over here and you look in here and voila. And over here in this corner is the sixth and final one and that's all she wrote for that quest. And then you go over here and kill the last um, targeted NPC quest killings. Put four in, on him. So let's be done with this one here. Yeah, and I just remember this while this fight right now is going on, this little battle is going on. There is a um, rare kind of kill in this castle, and my, I think my Pally, Pally or my Druid got it. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, you, you get, rares give anywhere, you know, rares give up to close to 2,000 XP, and uh, when there's a rare, I kill it. Because you get goods and items and you get experience. You know, you get a green item, you know, a bag sometimes. And I, so, yeah, I usually kill the, the rare. And they're also in the dungeons, too. Uh, when I found them on my Druid or Pal, I can't remember which one it was. It was, it was there. He's dead. There's my last marine guy. He's got a grenade ready to go. And he blows up nothing there for him to kill except for my immolation trap and that actually just burned him up oh actually that is a rare oh this is cool so that's actually the rare Sergeant Curtis and I took some damage there but you know what he's about to take some more damage I'm on fire but he's dead yeah this is the rare you get 2000 XP on this sucker Yeah, he's a little. Yeah, he looks like Hulk Hogan. We'll emulate him. Get some fire on him. Hopefully, my minion isn't an aggro. The boss in there. He's burning up, and I'll just dot him again. And there's oh, a thousand that time. But anyway, what level was he? Eight. Okay. Well, anyway. So I killed the rare and got a bag. Got a red pouch. Let my minion aggro him. Of course, I got I got uh, dots on him, so we're gonna do some damage that way. I meant to do that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He's dead, and we'll just hearth after we grab our stuff, and we'll go back to Razor. He'll turn us in, and we should be approximately level ten by now. Six six twenty five and four eighty. Almost. Getting close. 
to level 10. If we don't hit it, we're getting really, really close to it after it's already in these two quests in. thousand less than two thousand points away oh. yeah we get the cloth okay so we got that cloth yes we're gonna sell So I picked up the quest, you have to go kill 11 sea foaming creatures. And then this quest opens up, this is a gnomish tool quest. And it says, obtains four sets of gnomish tools. You get a silver, 75 pieces of copper, 480 experience points. Very easy quest. And then my cooldown is is on, so my hearthstone. So, but the walk isn't so bad, actually. It's about a, I think it's about a, it's about a, a minute and a half, two minute walk back. It's not that bad. So that's kind of the reason why I do the Hearthstone then. So I can just walk back because I'll, but the kill, because the killing of the sea foam and the collection of the gnomish thing. And there's a third quest out here that, that, that I don't know. I never, I, I never really did the sea foam and killing quest until about a, I don't know, about eight months ago. I never knew about the other quest until about four, three months ago when I started wrapping on my Pally team. And I don't collect the loot on these things because they don't offer much stuff. That's why I kill these things here. Emulate them. And Shadow Bolt them. And the way to do that quest is, of course, you see um, I'll target that guy. You see the uh, injured um, gnomish guards on the ground, and you go there and talk to one, and it gives you a quest that you have to rescue four of them, or, re or, or reviver, or, or free four of them, anyway. Yeah, and uh, multiple boxing is not so bad, because this one's actually easy. Uh, now, with the collection of the gnomish tools, multiple boxing, um, it's option. Um, by this time, when you multiple boxing, you're probably almost level 12. I'm not joking. Uh, yeah, um, I had to, I had to, and there's that quest there, and I'll accept it. I will, I, I usually head to Ratchet around 12 uh, after I after I'd kill those soldiers and kill that guy at the very top of the castle. Uh, I'm level 10 by then, and then I go over to Northern Barons and do the quest of Northern Barons that are easy in my opinion to level up, and I will show that those quests. Um, later on, probably Friday. I don't think I'll do it today, which is fine, because I'm in a rush. I want to do this in a very gradual, entertaining, but uh, educational way. And so there is uh, going to be one more killed seafoam creature, five. And I'll just dot him up, and then what I'll do is when he's dotted up, I will go over here and let my minion destroy the rest of him, or kill the rest of him, whatever is left of him. And there he goes, he falls. So I rescued one Ogomar Grunt, I've killed six foaming sea creatures, and I've collected one, no I didn't collect any gnomish tools, okay I gotta do that too. But they're, yeah, like I said, they're all sprawled out on the beach here. Really simple, really simple quest. In fact, there's like five in one environment area. He's dead. So it's eight killed. I'm going to pick up my first Gnomish tools. And then go back and grab my second one. And uh, something that I do for my when I multiple box teams um, that could be, in my opinion, works faster for me in a way, is um, is when I do a collection quest like this or whatever, I usually let the C guy or the, the you know the fifth guy, the fourth guy, the third guy. What, if I'm multiple boxing three guys, 
I, 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 I give them different names, but I called them A, B, and C to kind of to kind of keep everything kind of in, in some sort of order. Um, and there's my four not much tools. And I think I'm going to free one more of these guys. And there's a fourth one now to kill uh, three more foam feet, foam seeming. Oh, anyway, feet foaming sea elementals. Anyway, what I was saying, sorry, uh, jibber jabber a lot. Um, what I do is if I'm if I'm doing three guys, I call them A, B, and C, even though they're different names. If I'm doing four, I call them A, B, C, D. Five A, B, C, D, E. So what I do is if I do a collection quest, I let E go first, or D go first, or C go first, whatever how many I'm doing. And then I go, I go from, uh, if I'm doing three, I go CBA. If I'm going four, I go DCBA, and yada, yada, yada. So, because when you do A, I'm going to draw two in there, and that's fine, because one's almost dead. Because A, I like to see exactly what I'm about to collect. And he's dead. I'll just go back because he's going to die. And that's it. Um, so, because A is usually my main guy that I get to see, oh, there's a piece of wood i got to collect. Oh, there's a gnomish tool i got to collect. You know, whatever. Because on the other screens, if you do those first, if you do those last, your A guy is not going to see where those things are because they're not glittering. So that's why I do the alternative tunes first instead of doing the main guy first. I don't know, it just seems for me it seems to flow a little better when I quest with a team or when I collect something. And you know, so Yeah, this should be me level ten actually. Uh no this quest won't, but the I think the other two will. I think the next I think the next two will. This one and the next one will put me at level ten. Because we'll gain almost five hundred points there. And I do not do this quest. So 155, sorry. 155 experience points away. And we're going to do the Storm on the Beaches. This is where we have to uh, kill the things. And level 10. And I'll go ahead and turn that in, and I get that item, and we are done with that. So we're level 10. Uh, we're um, doing good. Um, and I got a bunch of stuff to sell. What I usually do this time is I pick Demonology, actually, for leveling for me. I select that one in the middle, Dark Arts, and that gives me the ability to summon a Felguard, which I personally like. Because it's like a tank. Yeah, it's like a tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn, we're going to sell some stuff that I don't need. And we're level 10, got demonology. <laughs> And um, I think we're gonna we're gonna get the rest of the YouTube videos up and all that, and take a look at it, and go from there. So I will see you on the other side of the gaming world.